Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. I am Chrissy Woods and I am your host for today. And today we will be doing an amazing look, actually this look, created using my Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. We only use three colors out of the palette to create this look and this is how you can slay on Thanksgiving Day. So if you haven't already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to be a part of my family. I do upload videos at least once per week to show you looks such as this in a very beginner, easy, beginner-friendly way to, do, to create these looks. So again, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And if you're an oldie but goodie, welcome back and please continue to watch. Alright, so before we get into this wonderful palette, we've got to do some complexion things first. But let me just show you the palette. Oh, is this not beautiful? This palette has easily become like a fan favorite. But anywho, I've already done my brows. So let's go ahead and moisturize. And y'all know what I use for moisturization. My Ember Elise, my favorite. And what we're not going to do is judge my nails because I'm getting them done as soon as I finish filming this video. So yeah, I ain't even got to worry about that. Cause they are really bad, like very bad, like embarrassing. Per the usual, I'm gonna go in with my primer. And I typically only really see oiliness in the T-zones and on my lids. So I'm just gonna prime those areas. All right, so now I'm gonna prime my lids. And this is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So today for foundation, we are going to use the Fenty Beauty and I am in the shade 410. But before I do that, I do want to take care of these dark circles. And this is just a orange color corrector just to get rid of some of that darkness. And I do like to correct. Um, I don't conceal always, but I correct at the very least before putting on my foundation because I do want to cancel out some of that color. And sometimes the foundation will take care of whatever the corrector did not. So now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty on my Beauty Blender. And it's so liquidy. Really, really thin and kind of watery but I go in with about three or four pumps and then I just take my beauty blender and blend it out and I can honestly say I've been using this foundation for at least 30 days and it is a really nice foundation but in my opinion if you have dry skin I don't think it's a great foundation for you because it does dry pretty 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 matte but you see how beautiful it blends out. Next I'm going to conceal and this is just LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade top in the shade of Fawn. And I'm going back with my beauty blender to blend that concealer out. These concealers are so inexpensive but they really get the job done. And we're going for a just really snatched look today. Like snatched. Like beat back. See how we look on the monitor? Yes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set that. And today I'm gonna use my AJ Crimson Setting Powder. And this is the loose powder in bamboo, which is similar to like your Sasha. And I'm not necessarily going to bake, but I will leave a lot of this powder on here because I did foundation first this time and I'm doing eyes last. So the powder from the setting powder will catch some of that fallout from the shadows that we're going to use today. And I use my NYX micro brow pencil today to do my brows with. Now let's do some contouring, honey. And I'm going in with my Self Love Cosmetics. Oh, nose itching. My Self Love Cosmetics Foundation Stick. And this is in Chestnut.
I got a nice size forehead, okay? So I do kind of contour that quite a bit, especially now that I'm wearing my hair kind of short. I like to shorten that forehead and make it not protrude as much. Although, Tara Banks has made large foreheads the thing to do. So I'm not so insecure about my forehead as I used to be. And do you see how it gives that illusion just a little bit? And if it don't, just let me think what I think, okay? I think it gives me an illusion. So, like I said, if it does not, let me think what I think. And we're just gonna blend this out. All right, so now let's blend out this nose contour. I don't particularly have a large nose, but I do like the snatch look that contouring my nose gives me. I actually like my nose. It's actually one of my most favorite features. Do y'all have like a favorite feature? Like what's your favorite feature? I know mine is so weird, but I actually really do like my nose. And I kind of sort of like my eyes. I don't like the, the hooded part of my eyes, but I really do like my eyes. And I love ding, that dimple he has. But did y'all know a dimple is actually a birth defect? It's a weak muscle. So it's crazy how things that are like defects are like beautiful. Like freckles, I think freckles are absolutely gorgeous, but most people with freckles, they hate their freckles. So leave a comment below. Let me know that one thing that you hate that people love about you, and then tell me that one thing that you love that you hate about you. So tell me what, what did I just say? Tell me the one thing that you hate about you that everybody else loves, and then tell me the one thing that you absolutely love about you. Okay, yeah, there we go. All right, so do y'all see how this nose and this complexion and all of that has pretty much come together? And we don't need the powder down here or up here anymore. Just under the eyes before we do the makeup, the eyeshadow. All right, so let's get into the palette. Ta so first we're gonna go in with this really burnt orange color, which is right here. And that's gonna serve as our transition color. Again, I have hooded eyes, so my placement may be a little bit different from yours, okay? But we basically wanna focus on going right into this crease area. My crease, as you can see, when I look dead on, you can see it, it's folded. It, the color kind of get lost. So I have to hold my head back to really get the color right in that crease. Whereas you might can look head on and get it in. I have to stretch my eyes and get that fold out of the way. So if you have hooded eyes like me, just stretch your eyes, get that fold out of the way, and then look flat and make sure that that color doesn't completely get lost, get lost when you look straight, okay? Oh, that made sense. Hooded eyes, listen, that's another thing that's supposed to be like a defect, but guess what? It's like, they call it bedroom eyes. So our eyes are the sleepy eyes because they make us look so tired because we have that extra fold there, but they're actually quite romantic shadows y'all the pigmentation is amazing um they do last all day and i have used this palette like non-stop since i got it next we're going to go in with this beautiful jade green color right here right oops yeah right there and we're going to do like the halo effect which means that we're going to place the color on the outer corner and the inner corner of our eyes and then we'll blend it towards the crease. So 
So there and there. Now this one is a matte, but it is a little, little, uh, it's giving me a little bit more pull with the blend. So let me switch brushes. Let me try this brush. This is the blending brush, the E25 by Sigma. Okay, yeah, that one's giving me more glide, so it may have been the brush. Okay, and I'm going back on the other side. And I like to use a pointy brush. This is a tapered brush. This is a small tapered blending brush by Sigma because it really helps to put the shadow right where you want it. See how I'm getting the intensity just by tapping it right there. And I'm gonna add some more to this side. Cause I really want this color deep. But when we're blending it, be careful not to take it past the crease and past the transition color, okay? Cause we still want that transition color to show. It, you know, it may just be a peekaboo color, but we still want it to show. I think this color will have you slaying on Thanksgiving Day, this, this whole look. So now we're going to go in with this color. This has been one of my favorite colors. I wear this color all the time. It's a really beautiful, um, matter of fact, hold on. I had to go get the thingamadoogie. I forgot it came with a card to tell us the colors. So this color is actually called Diva that we're about to use. And the one we used before, the dark, like jade looking green, was called Enchanted. So now we're going in with Diva. And I am going to wet my brush just a little bit because with shimmers, if you wet your brush, sometimes you get a lot more payoff. These give you a lot of payoff without wetting it, but I just want to see what it does if I wet it. Ooh. Oh yeah, you get more intensity if you wet it. But they do fine without wetting it. And I'm just putting that right in the center Right, that area that we left open, that's where this color is gonna go. That's where it's going. And you do know you can always use your finger for shimmer colors. I'm just gonna go back in with that blending brush that we used to blend out the enchanted color. And I'm, I am gonna go back in with just a little bit more enchanted. I'm just taking the tip of the brush and really going in and feathering out the enchanted along the edges. Now I'm gonna go back in with that first brush that we used for our transition color. I'm not adding any more product and I'm just blending right along the edges. And I'm just using what was already on the brush. All right, so now we're gonna go in on the lower lash line area and I am going to take a black liner. So I'm just going in with my gel liner. This one is by Inglot. This is number 77. It's like one of the blackest of the black liners I've ever seen. Water. 
but I like the way eyeliner kind of gives it that precise and defined look. It's just something about eyeliner. And I never used to wear eyeliner, y'all. And now I realize like, wow, like it really just polishes the look off. So now I'm going back in with Enchanted on a flat brush like this. And I'm taking some Enchanted and I'm just running it right along that bottom line. Now I'm taking that same taper brush and I'm going in with the shimmer color that we had. And I'm just gonna lightly dust it. What was it called? Diva. And we're gonna lightly dust it underneath the bottom lash line. So Jackie put a inner tear duct color in her eyes, so I'm gonna try that as well. So for the inner tear duct, I think I'm gonna go in with the color Sissy, which is right here. If I can get the camera to focus. Let me try another color. I'm gonna try Cran Apple. That's the perfect name for that color. It's right here. It looks like Cran Apple. All right, so this is where we are so far. Let's dust off some of the powder, or all of the powder. Now I'm just gonna powder the whole face and I'm using my Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. And this is in the shade Dark Tan. And I like to put it on a fluffy brush like this and just kind of mend everything together. So let's pop on some lashes. Okay, everybody. So here is the finished look. I've taken my hair down, got my little faux hawk situation going on here. Got my fall hair colors and everything going on. And now we have this beautiful look created using our Jaclyn Hill palette. I think this is how you can kind of slay on Thanksgiving day. You know, you're kind of giving them a little bit without giving them too much. I hope you guys truly enjoyed this tutorial. And if you haven't already, please do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button down below. Also, I would love it if you would leave me that comment on the question that I asked you guys earlier in the video. Leave that comment down below this video and be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video as well. Thank you so much for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.